Hey guys, Capper here, uh, February 16th, zero degrees today with a 10 below wind chill, but it is supposed to get up to 15 here at, at probably about noon or two o'clock, somewhere in there. Anyways, I'll tell you about the cracked rib that I have, and I'll also take you along with uh, Sharon and I, because because of the cracked rib, she stuck with me the whole time. But I had a mission that I had to do. I had to help a neighbor out. Um, they needed it. So it was good to get out. So let's go have some fun with the Polaris and the Coyote. Plow some snow and help someone out. And fingers crossed, it gets a little bit warmer. Looks like ocean waves. No. Yeah, here's a foot of snow drifted right in front of your face, kitty. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome to a frigid February farm vlog. Say that a few times. But anyways, normally I would be doing all this stuff today, but Sharon's going to be doing it all for me because as I mentioned, I did crack a rib, strained my shoulder pretty good. I was getting out of the hot tub a couple nights ago and the stair on it, the stairs had frozen and I didn't know it. So anyways, after about, you know, 16 x-rays, um, it could have been a lot worse. I only cracked one rib and my artificial hip is all still good. The ceramic didn't break because that would have been bad. So anyways, this is kind of part one of probably a three-part mini-series. Mainly going to be a cold start. I gave uh, Sharon specific instructions on how to do the cold start. She's going to get the uh, machines warmed up for me and come pick me up so I don't have to try to walk in this uh, deep snow right here so let's have a little bit of fun and definitely stay tuned we got a couple more episodes coming up on this snow plowing adventure well that is some deep stuff I'm um, thinking it's a little deeper than my boots here. Oh, that's a good, uh, I don't know, four, six, uh, at least six inches. But I guess if you ask Mr. Camper, I'm sure it's, gosh, got to be closer to 10 feet. Anyway, I pulled up here and uh, couldn't quite get out because of the big snowbank. Whoa. So, trying to, oh, one of winter's casualties. I'm just making a path for me here. Oh, sorry, little sparrow. little bit of snow. All right, so it is sitting in the shed here and we got that double bubble wrap. It's supposed to make a little bit warmer in here. I'm going to put the thermometer in here and see once what it is, but this is truly a cold start. I mean, 
the true meaning of a cold start. Let's see if it works. Oh, that seat's cold. Three times with the glow plug. Okay, that wasn't far enough. Oh my gosh, Joe. Oh, shut that thing off. Ha ha, that's what you get for bagging on me. All right, glow plugs. That's the first time. Shut it off. Second time. Shut it off again. Third time. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Clutch in. Key on. Let's get started here. Wow, right away. Alright, you're gonna stay there for a while. Eat, eat. Okay, should be good. Hopefully we found, she found some fuel to top off the Polaris. And we're going to head out in the frozen tundra. Alright, here we go. Maybe. 10 below wind chill. Zero hard reading. Mrs. Capper got the tractor all warmed up. First thing we have to do is go get the uh, back blade. Man, it looks pretty out here. As long as I don't get stuck in a ditch or something, uh, as far as the temperature goes, I think we'll be fine. Nice to see the sun after a few days. Let's get this back blade on. There. Probably one underneath it. Everything's frozen.
ice in here. The blade is working really nice. I guess the frozen ground really helps. I'm not picking up any gravel yet, so that's really good. Beautiful. 